on today's menu for starter main course and dessert it's another football manager 2022 experiment oh lovely well what we're doing today i'm just giving 100 million pounds to every vanarama national league team and simulating through 100 years can someone win the premier league can someone win the champions league will anything really good happen let's hope so because if not it'll be um a bit of a waste of time that being said let's get straight on with the video and let's go through time traveling to 2021 Ooh. yes gang and here we are in 2021 it is well 2021 and let's go and have a look at the premier division and see if anyone has got there so let's have a look we have got arsenal blackburn brighton burnley Charlton, chelsea Grimsby. Grimsby were in the Vanarama National League. So let's have a look. We've got £11 million in the bank. Competitions. They've been in the Premier League for uh, north of a decade. They yo-yoed a bit for the previous maybe 35 years. Wow. God, oh, even longer. 50 years. They managed to get themselves out of the Vanarama National up to League 2. They dropped back down and then jumped straight back. And they've never looked back ever since until they started yo-yoing between the Premier League and the Championship. But they've become very much established in the Premier Division. Mid, lower mid, upper mid table, should I say. Lower mid table. Yeah, that's right. Lower mid table. Leroy Matthews has been their manager for bloody how long? Oh, he's hired as... Oh, he's just been sacked as the Crystal Palace manager. They've probably been... Um, Oh, he was the England manager. I bet they've had a tycoon takeover. They've always got a tycoon takeover. They have not. Waterfield Leeds, Leicester, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Newcastle. Oh, so Grimsby, the only team that are up there. Brighton, however, have won a Premier League in the last five years. And they haven't, they're not the, it's not the only one they've won. They've won a good few. Oh, wow. They have won a good few. They what? They won 10 in a row here. 11 in a row, 10 in a row. Brighton have arguably been the most successful side. Maybe Man City. Maybe Man City have won the most since the start of the save game. But it's a close second, Brighton. And it's a two-horse race. It's Man City and Brighton. And I'd say Brighton have fallen away. Media prediction third. Competitions. Yeah, as you can see here, won the first one in 2047 and 32 Premier Divisions. They won 32 in the last, what, 74 years? And they've got 13 Champions Leagues. Well, let's get straight to the Champions Leagues then, shall we? The Man City have got, what, it's gone to Manchester for the last five years. And Brighton have bloody won, have come run up in three of them. Oh, Brighton. My heart goes out to you. But yeah, Brighton's era of domination. I think this was when they were winning the league for a decade. Or was it down here? I don't know. Tottenham have won a few Champions Leagues, to be fair. Let's have a quick look at Tottenham. Eight Champions Leagues, seven Premier Divisions. Interesting. We'll just have a quick look at City. They've got 43 Premier Division titles, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 would be 4 start of the game. So 36, so I think that's the same as bloody Brighton. 16 Champions Leagues. Very impressive. The problem we've got, though, is realistically, experiment over. We've looked at the Premier League, we've looked at the Champions League. We've got no massive winners either or. So a quick look in the Championship, see if anyone's in there. Barnet, well played Barnet. Have you ever been in the Premier League, Barnet? Yes, you have, barely. But they have been there. Dover. It turns out money's better than facilities. If you've seen that one on the channel... If you haven't, go and have a look. They've never been in the Premier League, though. Of Dover. Notts County were also in the Vanarama National. 
Uh, they've never been in the Premier League. So 100 years and £100 million per season has not really done the business. Weymouth, oh, they've, they've put some uh, money into their facilities, haven't they? They have been in the Premier Division. Oh, they've been in the Premier Division loads. Oh, they got there. And they've fallen away. Unlucky from Weymouth. South End. They were also in the... Uh, they were also down there. They've also been in the Premier Division a hell of a lot. God, they were in the Premier Division for 25 years. 25 years and they've now slipped back to being a championship side. So, um, FA Cup then. Let's have a look at the FA Cup. Let, come on, has someone, has someone snuck an FA Cup? Yeah, right, so Brighton, Southampton, Brighton, West Ham, Blackburn. Charlton have won one, but no Vanarama national teams. We're going back a bit too far now for someone to have done it. Yeah, back to back to present day. Carabao Cup. Come on, Carabao Cup. Surely. Surely someone's got to have won this. Someone's snuck a Carabao. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. No, it's not looking good at all. And do you know what? We're going to call time there. It's going to be a much shorter experiment video than in previous editions, but it is what it is. There's not much more to look at and I'm not going to waste everyone's time by looking at stuff unnecessarily. We will just double check the World Cup because, hey, Everyone wants to know how the World Cup's gone. And as you can see, England have won a few. Spain have won a few. France, France, France. So three for England, Spain and France in the last nine. Then again, Brazil, England, Spain, England, England, Brazil, Portugal, Belgium, Portugal, Denmark, Brazil, Spain, England, France, Brazil, France, and then back to France in present day. USA come runner up in 2022. Interesting. Denmark did beat England. Portugal have come run up quite a few times. Italy have come run up a hell of a lot for someone who hasn't. Oh, has any? Oh, no, they've not won it since the start of the save game. Very interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, gang. Please do leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, what can we? What we can? What can we garner from this? I'll be honest with you. A hundred million pounds in terms of like a cash injection every season is not really enough to do much in the English league because every team's getting more than that in prize money, sponsorship money and TV rights every season anyway. So all it does is it just makes them a little bit richer than some of the other teams. But when you've got the Champions League and all those other things involved, they are just they just override everything with an absolute overwhelming amount of money. So I think 100 million is not enough in the English leagues. Maybe what we might do is we might go to League One, maybe do 200 million. Or maybe a bit more than 200, maybe 200 and something to make it like 5 billion across the 24 teams. Anyway, I'll work that out off camera. Uh, so we probably will come back with a different experiment. But again, like I say, thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. There's lots more experiments on there or a playthrough with Sunderland on the road to glory. A lot of fun, a lot of heartache. Come and watch me bottle it. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.